What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Now check this out. Pat Riley, going off the deep end, running his mouth, talking-ish. He said the Lakers title deserves to have an asterisk because Bam Bam and Gordon Dragic didn't play. If you're going to do that, then every championship in the history of basketball deserves an asterisk next to it. Because every championship, one way or another, had somebody hurt, somebody injured, somebody missed a game or two, or missed the whole series. So, I guess there's a lot of asterisks going around for basketball championships. But last time I checked, they all agreed and played under the same conditions, Pat Riley. Lakers didn't have no hitting advantage in the COVID-19. And they won't have no hitting advantage going into 2021. Because they would all be playing without no fans. Having an asterisk next to anything that you win means somebody has an undeniable edge over you that's unfair, okay? Lakers didn't have no edge over nobody, not even competition-wise. They had two all-stars and role players. Every team they faced against had two all-stars and role players. Get the job done, you know? Just who showed up, who didn't. That's the game of basketball. Either you win or you lose. Who shows up, who's done. And Pat Riley, you got to take that loss on the chin. Be a man and accept the fact that you, your team lost. You got your ass whooped. Even with Gordon Dragic and Bam Bam, you still would have lost the series. Take your hat off that you still pushed them to six games. You know, most people thought you was going to get swept. So in that regard, you should be happy that you didn't get swept. You know, but Pat Riley clearly has um, a bone to pick with LeBron James. They, he doesn't like the guy because, he, you know, the way LeBron James left him cold and dry. Um that's between them two. That's a personal thing. And I don't really get into all that stuff. I only talk about stuff that takes place on the basketball court. That's a personal beef. So, um, But one thing I know is all championships are valid. I repeat this. All championships are valid. I don't care if you play a 50-game season. I don't care if you play a 60-game season. You win a championship, you win a championship. It's all valid. You all have to go do the same routine, the same work, just to win a championship. So... Pat Riley is definitely having sour grapes. And you're going to have a lot of people, you know, the hate mob. Oh, man, it really is an asterisk next to this championship. Get the fuck out of here. Because if somebody else won, you wouldn't been saying it's an asterisk. Pat Riley, if your Miami Heat won, would you be saying it's an asterisk? No, you'd be saying, oh, it's one of the greatest championships of all time. Because we won it under COVID-19. This is a rememberable championship. This is the first time ever in America and across the world. That we had a pandemic that cut businesses, people lost jobs, people lost lives. This is not uh, something to play around with, man. This is serious. We all had to deal under the same conditions. You know, I'm here in the Philippines right now. Okay, I can't even take the young ones to go anywhere because kids aren't allowed to go to stores here in the Philippines. So I'm stuck with that. And that's just how it is, man. You know, shit is real. Wherever you go, man, you got to oblige, oblige to the rules and do what you got to do to survive. And if anything, this makes it a little more challenging that they won the championship under COVID-19 conditions. You know, because at the end of the day, it's basketball. If you play on the playground, it's still the same two people playing on the playground. Miss me with the bullshit. If you play in the gym, it's still two people playing against each other. No fans or with fans. It's still... LeBron James on that basketball court. It's still James Harden on that basketball court. Okay? Period. You know? All is fair in love and war. Period. Prince Sports out. Pat Riley. That's a scumbag move. That's a bitch-ass move. And that's a weak-ass move. So, you're going to get this. Jeez. That's right. You get that slap. Because that's a bitch-ass move. Only a clown would say something like that. Especially after they lost. Okay, that's no different from LeBron James coming on to the post-game interview with a cast on after you lost. That's, those are weak moves, okay? Don't validate losing with an excuse. You lost, take it like a man, say you'll be back next season. Press sports out. Peace. Bye.